In 12 full-time seasons of Sprint Cup competition, Jimmy Johnson has hoisted the championship trophy half of those seasons. His six championships is now second all-time to Richard Petty and Dale Earnhardt and puts him in a place we haven't talked about in over a quarter of a century. Uh, the corner before we start doing all that. 25-year-old Jimmy Johnson from Sussex, Wisconsin. It is 58th NASCAR Busch Series start. We'll take the first ever checkered flag at Chicago Land Speedway. I wasn't sure what Rick Hendrick and Jeff Gordon saw in me. I didn't have the best nationwide career. There was a lot of doubt, and certainly Chad, as a young crew chief, was going through the same. So together, we were really starting what the 48's all about. I knew I bought some time with that win. I was going to have a job for a few years and be able to really settle in and find my home here at, uh, at Hendrick Motors. We hired the right guys, didn't you? I mean, I looked at my professional career and what has happened in the race car. I always look back and think, man, I wish I could have been a bit more mature and a bit more patient, but I don't think being patient in my mid-20s would have earned me the right to sit in that 48 car. battling for the win and the clock and the bonus points of Martinsville. I tell you what Jeff Gordon's going to do. He's going to do that same move coming to get the white flag. Jeff Gordon says on the radio, he's giving me no choice. And he isn't. Jimmy's doing everything he can to keep him back there. Jeff's going to have to move him if he wants to win this race. Don't wreck him, just move him. It'll be the white flag when they come back to the line. I believe if he's got anything for him, we'll see it off of turn four. Right, he can't get to him in turn two, Darrell. White flag, but no surrender. Oh, I'm good one here, bud. It's the last lap. This is it. He's going to look under him there. Jimmy got a little bit off. He had to get out of the gas a little bit. The head should be ready for him. Here we go. He's going to move him. Comes. He's going to move Boom. him. He's going to move Boom. him. Here comes the Gordon. inside. He's got the inside. They touch once, twice. Drag race. Uh, Jimmy Johnson. Johnson. <laughs> Nice job, Jimmy. What a race by teammates. That was fantastic. I bet Jeff Gordon isn't terribly happy either. You don't like losing to someone that you gave a break to. There's no joke about it. There is a rivalry there. The best of friends, the mentor, the student, the owner, the driver. And now you got Jimmy just beating him to death championship-wise every single week. You are looking at the five-time champ. The 48 and uh, Jimmy Johnson, 24, Jeff Gordon, they are after each other. You wouldn't know they're teammates today, would you, Larry? No, but it looks like the 48's a little better getting in the corner. When he runs the high line, he can hold his ground on the exit. 24 cars are not going quite as deep, Jeff Gordon, as that 48 car is going in the corner. 48's a little tight getting in. You can drive it in a little bit harder if it'll stick. But look at the aggression and the drive shown by Jeff Gordon. Whoa, they hit, I'm this, telling you. The, I don't know if he has the best car, but Jeff Gordon has the drive to win this race. Jeff Gordon with a trail of cars. And I'm going to tell you something. Jeff Gordon done a great job not wrecking. But now, Jimmy Johnson has screwed everything up there. But you know what happens here? Jeff gets back in here. Jeff Burton gets up and squeezes up in the 09 car here and causes Jeff Gordon to get crashed. That's the that's this lap right here coming. Bam, bam. And here's Jeff Gordon. And that all comes back to the 48. Jeff Gordon. He's not coming very fast. Outside, no hole. Outside, no hole. 31's coming. 
Looking inside, inside, in and out, in and out, in and out, in and out. Outside only, in and out, in and out. In and out, 31 with you, in and out. So Earl, did I make a bad time to switch down to the bottom? I heard that 24 and start that. You're talking about crowding him on the back straightaway, right? Yeah, I was coming down to get in front of him on the bottom lane. I figured that it was better to uh, be in front of him than the 31, because I was kind of in the middle there. But I couldn't see how big of a run he had, and evidently he had a big ass. Yeah, yeah that, that, that didn't cause a wreck on the front straightaway, though. I mean, I, I got collected. I don't know what happened. Uh, you know, I'm just excited we finished on the lead lap, to be honest with you. I think it's uh, been a while since we've uh, finished on the lead lap. Um, we got a huge push down the back straightaway. So I, I don't know who it was, 39 maybe, or somebody gave me a big shove. And I was coming 10 miles an hour faster than, than anybody. And uh, uh, the 48 is testing my patience, I can tell you that. I, it takes a lot to make me mad, and, and I'm pissed right now. I mean, you know, when a car's going that much faster, I don't know what it is with me and him right now, but... Uh, you know, whatever, but... Uh... I was very fortunate to have championship teammates, championship caliber teammates that were willing to work with me and groom me and bring me along. So when my opportunity uh, became available here, it was kind of what I grew up doing and believed in that system. You know, it helped, helped bring me along. In my heart of hearts, I knew that I needed to have a strong year in my rookie year. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. In that first race was, uh, you know, I'll, I'll never forget that day. You know, it was really a moment where I started building true confidence in myself as a driver and that I, I deserved to be in Cup and deserved to be a part of Hendrick Motorsports. So that's a big, big day. The kind of the question that I get asked all the time, and you guys can answer it, you're teammates, but you got to race each other. But you respect each other and your friends. And sometimes you get to rub a little bit on the track. With your leadership and the way you've set up uh, the motorsports side, then also the automotive group, as a younger driver coming along, there's so much more to absorb and learn that uh, it'd be very easy for me to enjoy that. And thank you for all the, the help yeah, over the years. Say, so basically for a very long time, he's been learning from other guys and then making them look bad afterwards. <laughs> Not intentionally, but... <laughs> Absolute best. I love you to death. Thank you so much for everything. Yes, and you are the man, buddy. Woohoo! Thank you for picking me, bro. Buddy, it couldn't have been a better one. You're awesome. Way to go.